Hey guys, it's Bren, and I am so excited to be here with Spring Test Candles. If you've been following me on Instagram or you're part of some of the Facebook groups I'm a part of, you know about my trip already. Um, I do not have a test store near me, near being the key word there. I have a white barn store about 90 minutes away, and when I started this channel, they were a test store for like a hot minute, um, but then they ceased to be one anymore. And occasionally, white barn stores still get things before Bath and Body Works stores do. So sometimes I still get to review things before they're completely officially released. But the nearest test store to me is about seven hours away in Columbus, Ohio. And so I didn't think I would ever get to go to one. And then I just started musing about like, you know, I could do that. I could totally drive that. Um, and surprisingly, my boyfriend Josh said that he would go with. I was like, are you sure? Because I was kind of talking about going by myself. I'm like, you really want to go shop for candles with me? Um, but he was down for it. And I'm on winter break because I teach. So I kind of have the time. And the other thing is like, I can really drive. Um, some people say they like road trips, but then you suggest driving to like Vegas or something and they're like oh hell no I would never drive out there I would totally fly and you're like okay but you don't really like road trips then I on the other hand I've driven to California up the Pacific Coast Highway and back I about a year and a half ago drove to Texas and back by myself to see some friends and my longest stretch during that trip was 13 hours straight just stopping twice for gas that was it I did it on four hours of sleep and when I got to my destination I went out with my friends so compared to that seven hours to Ohio there and then hanging out for a while and coming back. It really didn't feel that bad at all. Uh, we left at 6 a.m., got there, hit up a couple stores, went to lunch in downtown Columbus, home by midnight. So I would probably do it again. And again, it was fun. Thanks to everyone who commented on Instagram too, because it's so much funner when you can, or more fun, when you can actually like share it with somebody and talk about these things with people. So I bought 10 candles, three were the same. So I have seven new scents and I'll be reviewing each after I've burned them and getting back to you with a post burn, more complete, thorough review. So subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for that. Um, and out of those, three were Josh's picks actually and were ones that I probably would not have come home with uh, if I had gone alone, but he was interested in them. So we kind of got them together and now I can review them for you. And I got them for about like $7.20 each before tax because I had a 40% off coupon, which was another little push for me to go. You know, that came through and that kind of solidified, okay, we're gonna go now because I have this great coupon. I didn't have any 20 off 50s, so I was glad to get the 40% and actually that was easier because then I could just do like one transaction instead of worrying about getting, um, you know, $50 in each transaction and whatnot. All right, I think in this video, because I have so much to talk about, so like so many people have already done complete reviews where they've listed off every candle and been very thorough and what's coming back and what's not. So I don't really feel like I need to do that, but I do wanna comment on everything that's new or some things that I think are repackaged and what they're repackages of, even if I didn't buy them. So I'll kind of go through collection by collection and show you what I got, but also comment on what I didn't get and why, because I made some notes um, as I was sniffing Things in the store. So for that reason, I'm going to split this into two videos so it doesn't get too crazy long because I could talk about this all day. Um, and so in this video, I'm going to go over this collection here, which I don't know what it's called exactly. I'm kind of referring to it as the scalloped lid collection for now. And then I also want to talk about the frosted glass collection. And then in part two, I will talk about the Fiesta collection, the Destinations collection, and the new like spring white barn core collection as well. All right. I think that's all the preliminary info that you need or didn't need, but let me go ahead and get into it. the haul. Um, I have two quick things to show you before I talk about the candles. I know you're here to hear about the candles, but I wanted to show you the whole haul. So I grabbed these things too when I was there. The new Leopard Wallflower Plug for $9.50 and it's black, it's shiny, I love it. It's like really super cute. And then I had a free item coupon that I used to get the Red Velvet Sheer Lotion. This smells just like the pocket back and to me they both smell like a chocolate covered orange candy. Uh, Fannie Mae had these chocolate covered orange rinds. Maybe they still do. I don't know. Um, they're good. I don't know how I feel about it in lotion form. Uh, I think I'm going to use this a little bit more and then probably post a more thorough review of it on Instagram. So again, you can follow me on Instagram if you want more thoughts on that or pics of these candles, more thoughts on these candles, whatnot. 
Okay, the first candle that I want to talk to you about is the blueberries and cream candle. This was the one I bought three of. One is for my mom. Uh, she looked at the entire list of test candles. This was the only one she said, if that's good, get me one of those. So I did, and it's the only one that I bought multiples of for myself. It was also the one I was most curious about, kind of most excited about, really anxious to smell it. So when I walked in, I smelled it, and immediately what I thought of immediately was this. The Signature Vanillas line Berry Vanilla Body Care, which is my favorite body care of all time. It is my absolute favorite. I love this. I wish it would come back. I only have like three lotions of it left. It's really, really great. It's awesome. And I'm telling you, I'm cold sniff. I was like, boom. These smell so much the same. I couldn't really verify it till I got home, but then I smelled them and like I was right. Like, yes, these smell a lot alike if you know what this smells like. That being said, this is not exactly what I expected. I think I expected more of a bakery type of blueberry, like a very sweet blueberry, a cooked blueberry, like you might get from a blueberry pie or a blueberry muffin, kind of like Yankee's blueberry scone. And it's not really that. It's more of a tart, kind of like an actual blueberry would smell, more realistic berry a little bit. And I don't know actually that it screams blueberry to me. I think they probably could have called it just berries and cream and it would have had the same effect. I mean, for me, I don't know that I get more blueberry than any other kind of berry, but it's still really good. And it gets gives you a tart berry with like the creaminess. Again, there's no bakery. It really probably is representative of the picture here of just the parfait with like the cream. And the berries. I was a little worried for a second because there was another candle that reminded me of this body care and it was Smile from the Smile Love Home Relax whatever collection and Smile I didn't love. I bought one and ended up exchanging it I think because it was really really light. Actually the first pic I posted on Instagram was of this candle next to Smile like asking does anybody know like is anybody you know these kind of I feel like are a little bit similar and then it was funny because the next store I went to actually had a smile on clearance so I was able to smell it again and I do think that I wasn't too like crazy to make that comparison I think there was something similar between this and smile um, but smile is smile pink lemonade punch so it has this lemonade sour note that's not in this at all and this probably has more berry but I think you could say that they possibly have the same base. Like there was a little bit of a similarity. Like I said, they both reminded me of this body care. But kind of a spoiler alert, this is the only one that I've burned at all. I burned this this morning just once. So I don't want to give you too many thoughts yet because I'm going to burn it a lot more before I give you the official post burn review. Um, but it's on the lighter side. It's not super strong. Maybe it'll get stronger though. I don't know. It's not terrible though. Um, it's pretty good. It didn't smell like kerosene or anything. So that's good. But burning, it smells like this too. So really like for me, like these are so, so, so similar. But that's a good thing because this is my favorite. Uh, the next one that I want to talk about is key lime pie. And when I saw this on Instagram, I got really, really excited about it uh, because I love key lime pie. Love it. I love any kind of like lemon, lime type dessert, lemon bar, stuff like that, um, which is why I was so disappointed that I didn't love Italy, the lemon tart candle too much. So I had high hopes for this. Then I paused and I was like, wait a minute. I bet, I bet that this is a repackage of tequila lime cupcake. And I kind of posed that question to the candle community. I got varied answers and people were saying various things. Some people said that it was like this. Some people compared it more to other things. Just couldn't be sure. But when I went into the store and I smelled this, I was kind of expecting it to not be tequila lime cupcake. So I really don't think that I made the connection because I was expecting it. I wasn't expecting it. But sure enough, I really think that this is the Kila Lime Cupcake. And the first thing that I did when I walked in the door after being gone for like over a day, I didn't fall into bed or anything like that. I ran for my candles. I grabbed the Kila Lime Cupcake. I had to smell them side by side. And they smell the same. Josh smelled them. He thought they smelled the same. I closed my eyes and had him give me a blind sniff test. And you really can't tell the difference. Um, 
I am really confident in this, guys. I'm not going to tell you to rely on me for reviews of floral candles because that is not my area of expertise. Cologne scents, not my area. But bakery scents and fruit scents, like, that is... Those are my jams, and I loved Tequila Lime Cupcake. I bought like five of them last year. I burned through a couple. I have a new right here, never burned version of it that I can compare to my never oops, burned version of Key Lime Pie, and I'm telling you, they're the same. Any slight little minute 2% difference that you could pick out between any two candles is so little that it can be contributed to like year variation, batch variation, I think. Um, for example, every time that cinnamon sugar donut comes out, people say, oh, this is a little bit more cinnamony than last year's version. This is a little bit more bakery than last year's version. I mean, yeah, sure, maybe there's that kind of tiny difference between these two, but I really, um, trust me on this one, I'm pretty confident this is a repackage. Not a bad thing because Tequila Lime Cupcake was a White Barn exclusive last year and not everyone could smell it. So I hope that Key Lime Pie goes nationwide this year so you all can smell it because I love it. It's great. And one more thing I want to say about this candle is that in my Tequila Lime Cupcake review, I said this should be called Key Lime Pie. <laughs> and so maybe, maybe someone out there at Bath and Body Works is watching and you're welcome for this suggestion. <laughs> I'm kind of kidding there. I don't really think that they're watching my channel and listening to me, but I don't know. I did suggest it, and here it is. I got two more candles in this collection, both Josh's picks, and this first one I would never would have imagined in a million years that I would have walked out of there with this, but this is like his favorite out of the ones that he picks, and he's most excited to burn it. Lemon mint tea. Um... I think a lot of people expected this to be lemon mint leaf repackaged because they always repackage that and it usually comes out in the same exact color, but it's not. It's not lemon mint leaf. Thank goodness because lemon mint leaf was not good, I don't think. To me, it always smelled like toothpaste kind of mixed with lemon, which is a bad combination, but this, you can get the tea. The tea note is in there. It's not as strong as it is in London Tea and Lemon. But this kind of smells like if you added a lot of mint to London Tea and Lemon, it's um, calling it spearmint, spearmint leaves, right? And so it's kind of like if lemon mint leaf and London got together, but then it's a better mint too, because it's not toothpaste-y either. I'm really excited to burn this because, again, I never would have gotten this, so it's really going to be branching out for me. And I don't know if I'll like it or not. We'll see. But I think a lot of people are going to like it probably. You know, people love those tea scents. I'm curious what Norma is going to think of this because she loves tea scents so much. I don't know. With the mint in there, it's definitely different. And then also picked up Mocha Latte Swirl. Also, Josh's pick. I probably wouldn't have gotten this just because I'm not a big fan of the espresso bar slash Harvest Coffee Gourmet Espresso. This has been repackaged a million times. This is not the same. But I do think it's maybe the same base. It's kind of like they've taken their coffee scent and they have added caramel to it. Um, and possibly, I hesitated there because I'm like, and possibly chocolate. The notes just say caramel and whipped cream. But it's called mocha, which makes me want it to have some chocolate in there too. It's probably more so caramel. Maybe a little bit of what could be interpreted as chocolate, but definitely they've taken their coffee scent and they've sweetened it up a bit. It smells good on cold. What I worry about is that what I didn't like about espresso bars, it always smells like cheap old coffee to me or like burnt coffee or something. And I hope that that I don't get that with this one. Um, it doesn't smell either like the caramel latte like pumpkin caramel latte that comes out in the fall either it's much more coffee scented than that so I'll be back with post burn review on this um and I don't know what it'll be I don't know if it'll be a good or bad one I just have to burn it and find out okay and then also in this collection the only new one that I didn't get is the sugared peony petals I did smell it and it's very floral if you're into florals I think it's nice uh it's not pink petal tea cake some people were hoping that it was but there's really no bakery in it honestly if you're looking for or if you were a fan of pink petal tea cake and this is for my next video but I try Paris because it has that floral mix with bakery thing going on. Pink peony or sugared peony petals is really just a floral scent. But 
If you are, like I said, that's not my area. If you're looking for a good review of that, uh, follow on Instagram, Jennifer, the show 78, because she did a really good thorough comparison of sugared peony petals to pink petal tea cake today with a lot of information. So check that out. All right. And then a returning scents in that collection too: watermelon lemonade, Georgia peach, praline pecan cobbler, cinnamon sugar donut, and vanilla bean marshmallow. I think are all back in that collection. Um, the next collection I wanted to talk about in this video is the Frosted Glass collection, and I actually didn't get any candles from that collection, so I don't have any to show you. I took lots of pictures, of course. They're on Instagram. There were a few in that collection that I went in thinking I wanted to check out and would possibly get, but none that really made the cut, I guess. Uh, Sun Drenched Mango, I knew that that would be a repackage of something. It was just a matter of what. And... I'm like 93% sure that that is a repackage of Guava Colada from the Hawaiian collection. Now, the funny thing about that is that there is a candle in the Fiesta collection called Guava Pina Colada, and I thought that would be Guava Colada, but it's not. That actually reminds me of Mango Coconut Cooler, so it seems backwards. The Mango Candle reminds me of last year's Guava Candle, and the Guava Candle reminds me of last year's Mango Candle. <laughs> um, but like I said, pretty sure Sun Drenched Mango is Guava Colada, and Guava Colada was nice, but it was very light. A lot of people complained it had no throw, so let's hope that they made it better this year. I don't know, uh, but... It's nice, nothing that special though, and I was on a budget here, so I couldn't grab everything. Mediterranean Melon, I also wanted to like this, but I am not a person who likes cantaloupe. I really don't like cantaloupe. In fact, the only melon that I like probably is watermelon, and people had said this smelled like cantaloupe. Some other people said it smelled like watermelon bubblicious gum. I really got both from that. I could see where it would be like a combo of that kind of, but because I hate cantaloupe, like I was just getting the cantaloupe and I couldn't buy it because I just don't like cantaloupe. I think if you like melon though and you like cantaloupe, like this will probably be a really nice candle for you. It smells like it could be kind of light, but it was pleasant. Objectively speaking, it was pleasant. Not for me though. Um, also, you have coconut sandalwood in this collection, which I believe is new. And I expected it to be coconut vanilla because coconut vanilla has sandalwood in it. And coconut vanilla is back as part of the Fiesta collection. But it's not the same. Uh, it does not have the vanilla. It seems really soft, though. Um, all of the candles in this collection seemed pretty light and, like, I'm saying, like, soft. But... That could just be because it doesn't have lids. And the lids really seal in the fragrance on these candles. And the ones without lids, I, they all smell a little lighter on cold. So I don't know. Um, Seaside Citrus was the only one that really didn't smell light to me. That one kind of smells like limoncello, though. Not exactly the same, I don't think. But it's really just like a lemon candle. It's pretty good in that aspect. But not as sweet or like sugar or candy-like as limoncello. More like just lemon. And then um, Indigo Sky was one of the other, like, maybe new ones. And it smells kind of cologne-y to me. It's not one of the worst, like, colognes I've ever smelled, though, because it's a subtle type of cologne scent. Um, but just really, again, not my thing. And But Raves, Ra what is it? Raves Rants Reviews, Jill, from YouTube. Check out her video if you want some information on Indigo Sky because she bought that one. She loves it. And she also named a candle from the Intrigue and Opulence collection that she believes that it's a repackage of. So possibly that is a repackage. I just, I don't know enough about that scent. Um, there were a couple of earthy scents like Sand and Sun and Fresh Bamboo. I smelled both of those. Neither one were really my thing, but they're like, if you're like into those plant, like, sand earthy again type of scents you might want to check those out and then there were some returning scents in that collection too endless weekend i wanted to say if you're a fan of endless weekend though that candle was so light i could spell nothing from it in this collection again maybe it's because it doesn't have a lid but that one comes out pretty often you might want to wait for a different release of it because this collection's release of it at least the batch i smelled really seemed like a dud it didn't smell like anything and anyway, so that's what I feel about those couple of collections. I'm going to cut the video here so it doesn't get like crazy long. But in my next video, again, I'm going to talk about the Fiesta collection, the Destinations collection, the White Barn Core collection. So stay tuned and I'll see you in uh, maybe possibly like a minute.